Today we will discuss about the voltage source, what it is, right? You know, voltage source means like this is a battery. Battery is a source of voltage because it provides us some voltage, maybe of uh, any value. And there is also a property of the voltage source that it is having some resistance, some internal resistance. There is some resistance which is the internal part of the voltage source. And you know, if it is a freshly prepared battery, then its internal resistance will be very very less and if it is used then internal resistance becomes high okay that means you remember the voltage source having some internal resistance always maybe of any value now we read that voltage with the help of the multimeter like that at here we are measuring voltage this voltage we call it V0. V0 means source voltage. Source voltage is that voltage which is, you know, which is there, which is of the source when no current is drawn from the battery because we have not connected any appliances with the battery. So in that case, whatever the voltage is, that is called the source voltage, right? Now next, if we connect this voltage source to the bulb of 100 volt, now you know like uh, this multimeter, with the help of multimeter, we are measuring the voltage, right? Now, let me connect this voltage, you know, this terminal to a bulb. Okay, we are connecting this voltage source to the bulb so that, uh, so that the filaments will heat up then and it will give the light. Now, what happened now? You know, now in this case, if you again measure the voltage of the multimeter, now it will be different from the previous value because the current starts flowing and uh, because of the current flowing, there is some voltage develops across the internal resistance of the battery. So that's why the voltage here will differ from the V0 source voltage okay and again remember this voltage is called VT terminal voltage so you measure this voltage it will be different now now you connect this voltage source to the heater. Heater is so you know like 2000 watt. 2000 watt means it draws more current. When it draws more current, now what will happen? Again this voltage, you know, this voltage, voltage of the multimeter will change. Now down, this is a source voltage. This resistance is the internal part of the voltage source. We have not we have not connected it externally, right? And voltage it here is Vt, which is the which is the terminal voltage. And if no current drawn, like between the two point, it is the infinite resistance mean nothing is connected between the two points if nothing connected that mean 
infinite resistance in that case terminal voltage will be equal to the source voltage so the ideal voltage is v not internal resistance terminal voltage right the potential difference between the terminal of the battery is vt decreases as the current supplied by the battery increases no down if there is external resistance r if you go on changing the value of r mean we start we start changing it and uh, let i say we start decreasing this r we we are making the resistance r to go down we are making it to decrease when r decreases more and more current will be supplied by the battery and you know in that case what happen when more and more current is drawn what happen the terminal voltage voltage across here starts decreasing going down going down so potential difference vt decreases as the battery current increases how battery current increases by making this resistance r by making this resistance r lower and lower okay if the voltage source is ideal ideal mean it is not having any internal resistance in that case there will not be any change in the voltage but it is, if it is real there will be internal resistance then the voltage will go down with increasing the value of current right and one thing noted down here i'm taking the parameter as current okay when more and more current drawn then terminal voltage goes down so battery increases this is due to why it happens because with increasing current more and more voltage will set up across the internal resistance when more and more voltage set up across internal resistance then here the voltage will decrease okay so let that uh, what is the voltage set here by ohms law you know you take the first of all find what is the current flowing i what is the current flowing i so i will be equals to total voltage which is the source voltage divided by total resistance which is ri plus the external resistance which is r this is the current flowing now what is the voltage drop across here it is vt so vt equals to this current mean v not divided by ri plus r multiplied by this is current na current into resistance so current into resistance becomes voltage by ohms law now this is the equation of terminal voltages taking this v not to this side 
so this is the relation now you know taking the reciprocal of this equation so it becomes like this so simplifying it simplifying this so taking one to the to this side left hand side it becomes like this so ultimately you know what is small r i so small r i is this factor into r r is taking taking along the left hand side so this is the internal resistance so the internal resistance formula tells us internal resistance is v not upon vt minus 1 into capital r okay so vt is related with r okay if r is less for freshly prepared battery then vt will be more okay because r and vt they are inverse if r is less then vt will be more and if r is large used to sell the vt will become less there will be much change in the terminal voltages so you can find the value of ri if you measure what is v not connect any external resistance with the voltage source and find vt so this is the value of ri now there is a question for you if you choose the value of r equals to ri then what will be the value of vt just do that if you find difficulty then write me in the comments box i mean now what we are doing this equation we are dividing each term by v not so we have this equation now you just compare this equation with the straight line equation y equals to mx plus c m is the slope c is the intercept so this 1 over vt this is y okay this r over v not this is m 1 over r this is x and 1 over v not is the intercept on the y axis so this is a straight line equation so if we plot then it will be a straight line so looking here this is value of you know one upon r you mean that uh, this is increasing that mean r is decreasing so what is this this is the terminal voltages no terminal voltages one upon terminal voltages one over vt 
So 1 over Vt and 1 over R. This is a straight line equation. And you know, the what is the slope of this line? Slope of this line is, you know what it is, slope of this line? Internal resistance over V0. When the slope of this line is divided by is divided by the intercept. So you know this will cancel out and it left the internal resistance. So we, we get the internal resistance how by dividing the slope with the intercept. Now we have a freshly prepared 9 volt battery. Now you see the data. What we are do doing, decreasing the value of resistance. We are making this R down and down. You know what happens to the terminal voltage? Terminal voltage also go on decreasing because with de making R lesser and lesser, more and more current will be drawn and there become a change in the terminal voltages. More and more change in the terminal voltage. Maximum change with infinity and 47 ohm is 9.27 and 8.40. Note down this change and this change for freshly prepared battery of 9 volt. So note down this change for freshly prepared battery. Okay, now plot a graph 1 over Vt versus 1 over R. So you know, this is 1 over Vt, here at this side 1 over R. So this slope is very less. Slope is very less mean internal resistance is very less. Now there are some parameters. Our V0, the source voltage is this much. Internal resistance, uh, we, we already, we have found it from the previous graph. This is the value of internal resistance. Now, if we put external resistance very, very small, approximately near to zero, not zero, not sorry, not infinity and uh, uh, not infinity mean we have connected R, but of course very very less. Very less mean more current. So that mean maximum current drawn will be approximately, you know, choose R very less like 0.1 ohm. Then this is small ri. Then divide the voltage by the total resistance. Then it becomes the maximum current drawn. Now let let we take the another example used battery. Used battery already you know for infinity the terminal voltage seven point three two it is less. And now gone uh, uh, now we are going down we are making making it lesser and lesser the external resistor. And what happened terminal voltage changing decreasing. And again, we are reaching to 47. For infinity, it is 7.32. For 47, it is 3.55. Notice that how much change is. So this change is uh, very large as compared to the freshly prepared battery. So this is very important. Again, we draw a graph between uh, 1 over Vt and uh, 
1 over r. So now this slope is greater than the previous slope. So what it shows that, this shows that very important information. This is for, you know, this is for freshly prepared, this is used and compare the two. This x is for you just uh, comparing the two and far and, and you you find that uh, was uh, the conclusion okay what's the conclusion of it now for the used battery what is v naught what is i max and what is internal resistance you compare it with the previous one okay and you'll get very important information now this is a comparison so new battery having this source voltage old battery less new battery less internal resistance used battery more max current new battery very good this is bad so ultimately this is very very important is a 70 27 percent lower you know what this voltage is 27 percent lower but internal resistance is five times this is five times as high as this value and maximum current is only this current is one sixth with this value so there is a large change you know with the old battery so old battery is not good new battery is good because uh, we can have we can have some ideal approach with the new battery okay so ultimate conclusion is that if the internal resistance is very very low then no problem the source voltage will be approximately equals to the terminal voltage right thank you very much